All right, so let's now talk about setting up Pro Tools properly with BaseHead. First off, let's go to the Options page here, and we're going to select Pro Tools as the target application. And then you're going to want to set your sample rate and your bit depth to the same as your Pro Tools session also, in this case, 4824. Then let's go back to results. And then now we want to set our transfer path. You want to want to set this probably to your audio files folder of your current Pro Tools session. So you can do that by clicking the little folder guy here. Or you can just simply drag a .ptx straight to the results page. And that'll do it also. You can actually drag any folder to the folder icon here at the bottom of base head and set that as your transfer path also. So now that's ready to go. So now we can get some files into Pro Tools. So like you've seen in other videos, we can just select the file, drag it with the drag and drop bar, you can drag multiple files. Just same way, just drag them on over. You can uh, find a little bit longer file here. Grab a little region of it by zooming in. Or you can um, hold on shift. Wipe a yellow region, grab the top part of it, and drag that over also. Let's clear those out a little bit. You can also tag files like you see in the other videos. Hit T, T, T. Build up a tag list, you see four items here. You can either go to the tag list and option drag from here, or you can option drag straight from the drag and drop bar also, and that'll drag the tag list. That pretty much covers most of the dragon operations. Uh, so let's talk about the more Pro Tools unique features here. Let me clear out this folder here. I'll clear out the bin. So you can actually just select a file and hit X. And you'll see it toss straight to the Pro Tools bin now. You can do multiple files too. Hit X and you'll see them all fly over. You can also go back to tagging again. Say if you're just like... I want to do this all at once. You can look, listen to some files. Like, yeah, I like that. Hit T, hit T. Got a nice little tag list built. You got six items. So now you can hit Control X, and you see them all fly over all at once also. You can also do Spot the Track. So you can lay down a cursor in Pro Tools, and then you can select a file. Hit S, and it flies straight on the timeline also. You can do multiple files that way also. Hit S and they'll spot top to bottom. Unless you go to the options page and you can select spot multiple files in line. This is a new feature we just added. So now it will actually spot the files head to toe. So, so I'll grab these four files here, hit S, and boom, head to toe inside Pro Tools. Another new feature we just added is spot with handles for Pro Tools. So now we go to the options page and check it on right there. So now, if we select, uh, say, these two hits here, we can zoom in on them. We hit S. It transfers the whole file to Pro Tools, but only shows uh, the two that we selected. But you can actually pull the handles out still. You can select also by using the yellow range. Let's uh, select the next track down. Select with the yellow range, hold and shift. Hit S. And then you see the one hit only. But then if you pull out the handles, we have the whole file still. All right, so the next two features we should talk about that work with Pro Tools is auto switch and pass and file a session folder. The way these work is if you turn it on, you'll see the Pro Tools session here is actually sniffed out. And um, we'll turn, we'll first start, start off with auto switch and pass. And so now I have my Pro Tools demo open here. So now let's open up another session, say this BG template here. I'm going to save this guy. And then now we're going to select for this BG template. We're going to select uh, what folder it should be attached to. So let's say Aaron Steam. So now you see the transfer path is stored at the bottom for this Aaron Steam, which is now linked to this BG template. So now if we go back to, say, our Pro Tools demo session here, it will still be at Aaron Steam because we haven't set one yet for this one. So let's now that the checkbox is on, let's set it again with the just by dragging it on over. 
the PTX. So, so now you see transfer path stored whenever auto switching path is on. So now if we go back to say the BG template, we should see it switch. In any second now, boom, there it goes. So now if we go back to our Pro Tools demo session, we'll see that switch also. And there we go. The auto switch path allows you to set any folder on the hard drive to be attached to any session. That's what differs from follow session folder. Follow session folder were only set to the audio files folder and it will sniff it out automatically for you so you never have to set it. So we turn that on. So even if we create a new session in Pro Tools, create new, we're going to call this uh, follow. And we're going to set this to a location, say, um, I don't know, animals for now. I'm going to create the session here. So now you'll see at the bottom here that the transfer path has been changed automatically. I didn't have to set it. Then also, any session that's open, it will auto switch also. So if we go to this test three here, which we've never set to any session yet either, you'll see at the bottom here. As soon as it pings it, it pings it every seven seconds. The transfer path has been changed. It's important to note that the for this to work, Spotlight indexing needs to be on or Windows indexing also. So wherever your PTX file is, it needs to be indexed. If it's not indexed, this is not going to work correctly. So make sure you have your indexing on for this to work. The last thing to mention in this video, I'm not sure if you guys notice, but I'm using Source Nexus to uh, send audio to Pro Tools. So if you click this little SE button here, it will toggle between your original set sound card and Source Nexus. Also, when it's installed, you'll see a little SE at the top right of base head here also. So you can easily hot swap, you know, if you want to send files into, into Pro Tools and record them and then go back to your original sound card, you can do that. Um, it will do two to eight channel audio. It uh, destroys rewire completely. You don't have to close base head before you close Pro Tools and none of those other problems that rewire has. So if you need a discount code, we have them. Hit us up and it's highly, highly recommended.